kids in Crawfordville start school in two weeks, but parents are concerned about school safety zones. I'm Kenzie Krieger here in Crawfordville, where the school board and transportation services are working to ensure the community is safe. Right now, Crawfordville Elementary's bypass lane is under construction. This is designed to ease overflow traffic during school drop off and pickup times. Farther down the road, Florida Department of Transportation recently did a traffic study for Medar Elementary. As a result, they will be installing reduced speed to 45 miles per hour signs. That'll create a buffer zone to slow traffic before cars get to existing 20 mile per hour signs. I talked with one of the truck drivers who says speed here is a big concern. And with people not being able to see around that corner, it's, it's going to be hard because it's automatically you stop. You don't see you don't see it until you get right up on it. His concerns are echoed by workers near the school who see people speed by daily. The school zone is this long. Where our kids come out on the buses is not even in the speed limit to slow down school zone. So I just feel like it needs to be extended further past a corner that if you're driving 55 mile an hour, even 60, between 55 and 60, and you come around that corner, if you're not used to it and you're not from here, you come across 20 mile an hour and it's just, it's right there. It's just, it needs to be extended. Not far from here, Wakola County leaders tell me crews have constructed a new right turn lane on southbound side of Spring Creek Highway at River Springs Middle School. This is to alleviate traffic. Wakola County students go back to school August 11th. In Crawfordville, I'm Kenzie Krieger, ABC 20.